Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Hi Fer! Hi Nan! Nasilimunan mo na bang gawin yung essay natin sa English? Di pa nga eh! Nahihirapan ako at di ko rin alam kung paano ko sisimulan. Ikaw ba Fer? Heto, may nasimulan na pero di ko alam kung maayos ko ba ang pagkakasulat. Uy, Fer at Dino, nag-message yung ma'am sa group chat. Panoorin daw natin si Teacher Alfred sa Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Magbabahagi raw siya ng mga sikreto kung paano sumulat at makabuo ng isang maayos na teksto. Nabasa ko nga rin yan, Nan. Ayan, di na tayo mahihirapan kung paano simulan at gawin tong essay natin. O ano, G? Tara! A pleasant morning. You're watching Fernandina Teens TV, Season 2. I hope you're having a great time because today is another opportunity for you to learn. I am Teacher Alfred, your English learning buddy for the day. And I will make sure that you and I will enjoy a lot of things from our English lesson. So make sure you have your pen and paper ready because we will explore and unleash your reading and writing prowess. Did you hear that? I said reading and writing. Did you know that reading and writing are two among the five macro skills which an individual should possess? There are famous personalities whom I am really sure that you know and idolize when it comes to their skills, whether in reading or in writing. To spice up our conversation, let us play a game. I will give you a series of hints 
or descriptions, and I would like you to guess whom I am referring to. If you are excited, can you smash the like button and put it in the comment section. The name of our activity is Guess Who Am I? Let us begin with item number one with the following clues. The famous personality is a well-known journalist and a television host. A Peabody awardee in her documentary, Ambulansyang Dipaa. The founder of Project Malasakit, a non-stock, non-profit foundation that sends poor Filipino children to school. I am sure that you know who she is. May you say her name? You are correct. She is Miss Cara David. Our next famous personality has 2,246,393 followers on Wattpad. The original writer of the most popular series his into her with millions of reads. And she has a pen name of Maxine Gigi. May I know who this person is? That is right. She is Maxine Lat Calibuso. Let us now proceed to our next famous personality a multi-awarded Filipino broadcast journalist. One of the brains behind the one-hour documentary television, I witness. And the only one who always says, IKMJS Nayan. Who is she? You're right. She is none other than Miss Jessica Soho. Allow me to borrow Jessica Soho's very famous tagline, Kaya naman, if you find this lesson exciting, sabay-sabay tayong mag, hashtag IKMJS na yan. Great job. You got all of the items right. Just what I have told you earlier, you are indeed familiar with them because they are all great writers. All of their written compositions have been patronized by their thousands of viewers and readers. But I have a question. What do you think is the secret of these writers that made them capture the interests of their audience? It is because they make sure to come up with a well-written text. Yes, you heard it right. And today, I will share with you the secret ingredients on how to write a well-written text. So, expect at the end of this lesson that you will be able to Identify and define the different properties of a well-written text. Appreciate the properties of a well-written text to avoid miscommunication. And write a well-written text based on its properties. At this juncture, let me invite you to ponder on the significance of both reading and writing as capsulized by the great British essayist, Francis Bacon. <laughs> reading maketh a full man, writing an exact man. Truly, while reading provides man with all ideas and knowledge, Writing requires him to be sure of what he knows and how he shares it. Especially 
if he puts down his ideas in writing. Anyone may take back or even correct on the spot what he has said. But what one writes about remains written. So, one needs to be exact in what he writes. And one way to do this is to observe the properties of a well-written text. I know all of you are very excited, but let us take a break first. Stretch your body for a while and drink your water. And when Fernandina Teens TV Season 2 returns, you and I will explore the different properties of a well-written text. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ng ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 As I have mentioned, we will unveil the secrets on how to write a well-written text But for now, I would like you to describe first these pictures and write your answers on the comment section. Yes, you're right. These pictures show something that may be described as messy, untidy, and cluttered. How about these pictures? Very good. These pictures imply mismatch, disconnected, and unrelated ideas. Those words that we used in describing the pictures are connected to our lesson because those words may occur in your written texts if you will not follow the properties of a well-written piece of writing. To avoid messy, untidy, and cluttered ideas in your text, you should be organized. And that is our first secret ingredient in writing a well-written text, which is organization. Organization is achieved when ideas are logically and accurately arranged. Also, with clear organization, it is made easier for your readers to remember the information that you have presented. Let me give you an example of a text 
to illustrate this point. Join me to read it out loud. This is the example text. Compared with other versions, Edison's light bulb became successful because he used carbonized bamboo as the filament. This made the bulb last longer and it was cheap enough to be available for the masses. Along with his team, Edison just only improved the previous works of other inventors who also work on the same project. It is widely believed that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, whereas he was simply the one who created the first commercially viable light bulb. After reading the text, what have you observed in this example? Do I see a confused look on your faces? I know you are having a hard time understanding the given example because the ideas in the text are not logically arranged. Now, can you help me organize the ideas in the given text in a logical order? Let us give it a try. It is nice to know you tried. Now, let us do this together. Which among the sentences should be written first? Letter A. Compared with other versions, Edison's light bulb became successful because he used carbonized bamboo as the filament. Letter B. This made the light bulb last longer and it was cheap enough to be available for the masses. Or is it letter C? Along with his team, Edison improved on previous works of inventors who also worked on the same project. Letter D, it is widely believed that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Very good. Letter D, because the topic sentence of this text is about the invention of the light bulb. Now, which do you think should be the next? Correct. Letter C. Because it supports the topic sentence. Then this sentence should be followed by which letter? That is right. Letter A. Because this sentence is considered as an added detail, and the last sentence is letter B. Why? Because it is the concluding statement. Now, we were able to organize the ideas of the text in a logical order. Let us read the text once again, but this time, it's your turn to read it on your own. That is great. Thank you, Fernandino teens, for helping me out. We are done with the first secret ingredient. Let us proceed to the next one. In order for your text to be well written, it should be cohesive and coherent. Sounds unfamiliar? Do not worry. I got you. Cohesion is the noun form of the adjective cohesive, which refers to the use of linguistic devices or signal words to join sentences together. On the other hand, coherence is the noun form of the adjective coherent, which refers to the overall sense of unity of the texts. But 
I have a question in mind. Is it possible that your written text is coherent but not cohesive? Or cohesive but not coherent? Let us find it out through the following examples. Example number one. I had the most beautiful experience when I went to the zoo and I saw different kinds of birds. But it was my first time to see a carabao flying. Is this text cohesive? The answer is yes, because it used a signal word, but, to connect sentences. Now, is it coherent? The answer is definitely not, because it is illogical. The text is not coherent because a carabao does not fly. Therefore, this example is cohesive but not coherent. Furthermore, coherence and cohesion are achieved when ideas are logically, clearly, and smoothly linked to one another. Without it, the reader may not be able to comprehend your composition. Although these concepts are interrelated, they are distinct. Coherence occurs when ideas are connected at the conceptual or idea level. It can be seen through well-defended arguments and organized points. Unlike coherence, cohesion is the connection of ideas at the sentence level. It can be readily seen in a text through the smooth flow of the sentences and the connection of the ideas. Cohesion can be applied using three techniques. The first one is through the use of pronouns to refrain from using a specific word repeatedly. The second technique is through the use of transitional devices to connect sentences with linked ideas. The last technique employs a repetition of keywords to tie up the paragraphs subtly. Remember this general rule. You can have cohesion without coherence, but you cannot have coherence without cohesion. To achieve coherence, make sure your sentences are cohesive, which means they should be connected and interrelated to one another. Did you get it? I know you got it. We will continue our discussion with the four properties of a well-written text only here at Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Alcerano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong karang aktibidades na ng Ciudad apin yung launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Yung Heritage Passport apin yung metong karang proyekto ng kaya katamong Ciudad yung pamin na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagelangan ding eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo kin kaya katamong heritage district. Makakayado din kaya ni, ding importansya da ding mapin na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, Anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at yung passport at saka ka mag-selfie? Kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office at mamyelang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar? At yung mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balo mi ngayon eh, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain visa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa ngayon eh, agkatan ko lading bikers tamo, eh dad 18 hanggang 50, Imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamang heritage structures, kaya ni Siyudad. 
Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kikikatamang heritage passport, may dinan lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Inggawan nyo mo ba ang tamakapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ninyo kayo yung heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyakin na nano ko pa. Tara na! Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back, Fernandino Teens. Let us continue our discussion on the properties of a well-written text. We now proceed to the third secret ingredient, which is the proper use of language. Did you know that this is the reason behind why Kara David Maxine Lad Calibuso and Jessica Soho capture the hearts of most Filipinos because they are able to communicate the message that they want to convey without confusing their audience. Thus, avoid using highfalutin words just like in this example. There is an ongoing discourse about anti-disestablishment assemblage and the administrative political body. This text is too complicated, and others might not be able to understand it. However, I want to challenge you. What do you think is the meaning of these texts? Letter A. There is an ongoing trial between the victim and suspect. Letter B, there is an ongoing rally outside the Malacanang Palace. Letter C, there is an ongoing discussion between the opposition and the government. The correct answer is letter C. Keep in mind, that the appropriate language or words shall be used based on who your target readers are. The way language is used is one of the clearest indicators of a well-written text. It enables the writer to effectively communicate the ideas without confusing the reader. Effective language use is achieved by observing the following time-tested principles in writing. First, use clear and concise sentences. Second, avoid redundancies, wordiness, cliché, and highfalutin language. Third, avoid excessive use of their and it structures. Fourth, use precise vocabulary. Fifth, be consistent with your pronouns point of view. Six, avoid sexist language. And seven, use the appropriate level of formality. The last secret ingredient that we will unveil focuses on the technicalities of the structure itself, which is the mechanics. When we say mechanics, it is composed of subject-verb agreement correct usage of the different tenses of the verb, and other aspects of what is generally referred to as grammar. It may also include capitalization rules and even the correct use of punctuation marks. To exemplify this property, let us focus on one of the most important aspects of mechanics, grammar. Since we are not native users of the English language, we commonly commit errors in the use of tenses of the verbs. 
one common error that we, Filipinos, commit is a shift in the use of tenses in a single sentence. Let us look at the following sentences. First, he claims that he forgot to submit his answer sheets online. The sentence is grammatically incorrect because there was a shift from the present tense of the verb claims to the past tense of the verb forgot within the same sentence. To make the given sentence grammatically correct, it must be he claimed that he forgot to submit his answer sheets online. Second, the audience began to shout and cheer when the band starts to perform. The sentence is grammatically incorrect because there was a shift from the past tense of the verb begin to the present tense of the verb starts within the same sentence. To make the given sentence grammatically correct, it must be the audience began to shout and cheer when the band started to perform. Third, our last example. Our teacher asked the class when will they be able to finish their journals. The sentence is grammatically incorrect because there was a shift from the past tense of the verb asks to the present tense of the verb will be within the same sentence. To make the given sentence grammatically correct, it must be our teacher asked the class when will they be able to finish their journals. Take note of the following tips to achieve proper mechanics. First, always use standard English. Second, avoid contractions. Third, avoid exclamation marks unless they are part of a direct quotation. Fourth, mention the full name of an institution or organization with the abbreviation in parenthesis in first mention. Thereafter, use the abbreviation. Fifth, numbers from 0 to 10 should be spelled out, while numbers higher than 10 should be written in figures. Six, generally, citations are used in academic and formal texts. However, they are sparingly used in business texts. Remember, with proper mechanics, miscommunication is avoided and clarity is achieved in writing. Now, since we already discussed the four properties of a well-written text, it is time for us to measure what you have learned. Are you ready to answer my questions? Good that you are. So, let us get started. You can write your answers on a separate sheet of paper, or you can type in your answers in the comment section. Here's what you need to do. Arrange the following sentences in a logical order to make an organized paragraph. The first and the last sentences are numbered 1 and 6, while the remaining sentences are named P, Q, R, and S. These four sentences are not given in their proper order. Read the sentences and find out which of the four combinations is correct. Number one. The first sentence is, the accident occurred in just a moment. The following sentences are, P, the cyclist was blinded by a cart moving slowly in the opposite direction. Q, the cyclist from the main road did not notice it. R, the result was a head-on collision. Letter S, a speeding car came from a side road. 
The last sentence is, The cyclist was thrown a few feet away. The choices are, Letter A. Letter B. Letter C. And letter D. Which one is the correct option? Excellent! The answer is letter D. Number two. The first sentence is, It was dark and it was raining heavily. The following sentences are, Letter P. With a sigh of relief, the tiger crawled under the thatched roof and lay down by the door. Q. He was wet and cold and his home was far away. R. An old tiger ran through the rain looking for shelter. S. While hurrying to his shelter, he saw an old hut. The last sentence is, Except for the sound of the rain, all was quiet. The choices are Letter A B C and D Which one is the correct option? Good job! The answer is Letter C. Number three. The first sentence is, When my car broke down, I took it to the only mechanic available in our town. The following sentences are, P. But it just refused to start. Q. He said it required some minor repairs and asked me to get it tomorrow morning. R. So, the mechanic and his helper started to check it. S. They started to push the car down our street. The last sentence is, Thus, I went there at the appointed time to get it. The choices are A. B. C. And D. Which one of the given choices is the correct sequence? Great! The answer is letter C. Let us try some items on the property mechanics. Correct the following sentences by avoiding shift in tense of the verbs. You can write your answer in the comment section. Number one, Imelda says she had traveled around Asia already. The correct answer is, Imelda said she had traveled around Asia already. Notice that the corrected version has two verbs which are both in the past tense. Number two, everyone knows you could accomplish a task in a very short time. The correct answer is, everyone knows you can accomplish the task in a very short time. Did you notice that in the correct sentence, the two verbs are both in the present tense? Number three, we believed that the organizers have the best intentions. The correct answer is, we believe that the organizers have the best intentions. I guess you notice that in the correct sentence, the two verbs are both in the present tense. We avoided a shift from one tense to another in order to correct the sentence. Did you get them all? Amazing! Now that you are fully equipped with knowledge about the different properties of a well-written text, get ready as we write your own text guided with its properties. Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 
We'll be right back after a short break. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang mahalawakang pagtulong, pagtatabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay iaad ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring ipost ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto, gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at 
kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV You are still tuned in to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. At this point in time, we will write a text observing all the properties of a well-written text discussed earlier. I will show two different pictures which you can choose as the subject of your texts. First, Picture, Effect of Pandemic to Education Second picture, Your Thoughts on Facebook If you can think of another subject apart from the given choices, feel free to share them with us in the comment section or on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready to write your own text using your chosen topic? Reminder, do not forget to incorporate the properties of a well-written text. Share your answer with us in the comment section. Let me read to you this sample, a text about my thought on Facebook. Nowadays, Social networking sites have become an integral part of our lives. One of the social networking sites is Facebook, a popular site which has over 1 billion active users around the world. Generally, these are the two main functions of Facebook, for personal use and for educational purposes. People use Facebook for their personal use to communicate with their friends and relatives. For example, if there are important events to celebrate, a Facebook user can just send a personal message, post an invitation, or create an event. Facebook is also extensively used to interact with other people. The second major function of Facebook is for academic purposes. It has several features that can be used for teaching. For instance, teacher can simply update their statuses or send messages to make announcements on submission, deadlines, and assignments. Intellectual discussions can also be conducted on Facebook through chatting features. Undoubtedly, Facebook is an important tool for personal and academic success. Not only does it enhance and provide a positive influence in classroom practices, it also helps individuals to communicate and reconnect. Nevertheless, people should still be responsible enough so that this great invention would not be misused and put to waste. Does the text employ the different properties of a well-written text? If you said yes, then you are correct. Why? Because the ideas in the text are all related and interconnected. The language used was easy to understand. Also, transitional devices were utilized to smoothly connect sentences. Overall, this is indeed a well-written text. For those texts that you have written, keep them because you might use them in the future. But I am really sure that your output can be considered as a well-written text. 
I hope you enjoyed writing. To wrap up today's discussion, here are some key ideas which you have to remember. First, a well-written text reflects the writer's careful attention to details through his or her observation of organization of ideas in writing. Second, an effective writer must exhibit coherence and cohesion in his or her writing. Third, an effective writer must always observe correct writing mechanics during the writing process. Fourth, transitional devices make your ideas flow smoothly. Fifth, miscommunication is often attributed to incorrect choice of words and errors in grammar, spelling, and mechanics. Here are the references used in this learning episode. I hope you had fun learning with me today. Again, I am Teacher Alfred, and this is Fernandina Teens TV Season 2. Thank you for watching! Ang galing naman ni Sir! Ang dami nating natutuhang tips sa pagsulat ng isang maayos at epektibong teksto. Tama ka dyan, Nan. Nalaman natin kung paano gawing organisado ang mga ideya na kung ating pagsasamasamahin ang mga lohikal na ideya. Oo nga. Tulad ng sabi ni Sir, the text should be organized, cohesive, and coherent. Huwag rin kakalimutan na gumamit ng mga angkop na salita at sundan ang mga grammar rules na tinuro sa atin ni Sir. Ang dami na naman natin natutuhan sa araw na ito. Kaya naman, maraming salamat, Sir. Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ng ating natunghayan sa araw na ito. Samahan niyo ulit kami sa susunod na episode ng... Fernandino! Teens! TV! Season 2! Na kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa ang kintali. Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Sa iyong pagkamulat